welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says In the given figure, PM is a tangent to the circle and PA is equal to AM Prove that triangle PMB is isosceles. Before we move on to the solution, let's discuss the alternate segment property according to which we have if a straight line touches a circle and from the point of contact a cord is drawn the angles between the tangent and the cord are respectively equal to the angles in the alternate segments. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let's move on to the solution now. This is the figure given to us in which we have that PM is the tangent to the circle then PA is equal to AM that is these two are equal and we also have angle APM is equal to X. We are supposed to prove the triangle PMB is isosceles. For this, first of all, we join BM. So we have now obtained triangle P and D and we are supposed to prove that this triangle is isosceles triangle. Consider the triangle APM in this AP or PA is equal to AM as it is already given and angle APM would be equal to angle AMP since we know that in a triangle angles opposite equal sides are equal. Now since these two angles are equal, therefore we have angle APM equal to angle AMP equal to X. Let us now recall the alternate segment property in which we have that if a straight line touches a circle and from the point of contact a cord is drawn, the angles between the tangent and the cord are respectively equal to the angles in the alternate segments. So from the figure we have that a straight line PM touches the circle and from the point of contact that is M 
a cord AN is drawn. So the angle between this tangent PM and the cord AM, that is angle AMP would be equal to the angle in the alternate segment, which is angle ABM. Using the alternate segment property. This means that angle AMP equal to angle ABM would be equal to X. Since angle AMP is of measure X. So this angle is of also measure X. Now we consider the triangle EMB in this angle MPB is equal to angle MBP and both are of measure X. So this means that MB is equal to MP. Since we know that in a triangle sides opposite equal angles are equal. Now as we get MP and MB to be equal, therefore we say that triangle PMB is isosceles and this is what we were supposed to prove so hence prove that triangle P and B is isosceles triangle so this completes the session hope you have understood the solution of this question